So you would have the input here with the handle here, and then you would have a, this output shaft or gear right here. So this one here is the output gear. So as you would turn this, you would have an output. So right now we're in second gear going to forward, and now we're going to shift it into first gear going forward. And as you can see, the speed is roughly cut in half. So now in order to go into reverse, you need to put it in the neutral. Make sure it goes fully in the neutral. There we go. And then we're going to start here going in reverse with our first speed. Sometimes it catches. So you do that. And then we're going to shift in the second. There you go. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I'm fine. It's alright. Anyways. That would be the concept. If we had better glue, it would all function. So throughout this project, some of the things that we realized were a big effort or an issue was how much torque we were actually applying on the shafts of these gears, which we had seen a number for, we calculated the value for, but we didn't really understand what that value was until we tried to apply it to the glue in between the shaft and the gear. And that's where you can really see the torque stripping the glue. Yeah, so all the gears were initially sealed and connected to the shaft like really well. However, whenever we started putting the torque, it just completely stripped the glue off of the shaft and the gear no longer stayed in contact. So right now only three of our six gears work because the gears are no longer glued to the shaft. 